Dune Part 1 only tells the story of the first half of the first novel. Confusingly, that novel is itself split into three parts, which Frank Herbert called books. This is because Dune was first published as a serial in Analog Magazine, starting in 1963, and that's how it was split up back then. A current run of graphic novels uses that original split, rather than the one from the movies, and are worth checking out too. After a brief prologue, which wasn't in the books, Dune Part 1 opens on House Atreides, who trace their lineage back to the ancient Greek family of Menelaus and Agamemnon of Trojan War fame. They're getting ready to move planets from watery Caladan to the desert world of Arrakis. This is where we meet our hero, Paul Atreides, a moody, lonely 15-year-old played by a moody, not lonely enough 25-year-old actor. Paul is subjected to a horrific test, the Gomjabar, which confirms he might be the prophesied Kwisar Sadaract, who the all-female sect of Bene Gesserit witches have been trying to genetically engineer for hundreds of years. The Atreides have only just arrived on Arrakis when the villainous House Harkonnen try to assassinate Paul, but he's able to stop the hunter-killer drone with his bare hands. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Soon after, though, the Harkonnens manage a full-scale invasion. Paul's father, Duke Leto, is killed, while Paul and his mother, the Bene Gesserit Lady Jessica, escape into the desert, and Paul's mentor Duncan Idaho gets killed. Paul and his mother then end up with the Fremen, the native people who also believe Paul might be the prophesied saviour, the Lisan al Gaib. One of the Fremen, Jameis, is jealous of Paul, so challenges him to a duel. Paul kills Jameis and becomes accepted by the Fremen tribe, along with his mother. Finally, Chaney, a girl Paul dreamed about way back in the prologue, tells us that this is only the beginning. And that's it. You're all caught up and ready for Dune Part 2. If you're interested in how Dune's story really works in the books, that video is coming up. After that will be a video essay analysing Paul Atreides as a character and the historical figures he's based on. If that sounds good to you, hit like, subscribe and keep writing.